Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the MSI Thin 15 B12U. To remove the bottom panel, you have to undo 12 Phillips head screws. Use a thin plastic tool to pop the rear close to the lock slot. When that is done, insert the tool a bit deeper into the chassis to create a small gap on the side and pop it. Pry the other side as well as the front and fully pop the back. Since the headphone and the microphone jacks slightly stick out of the motherboard, you may need to lift the plate on the right and slide it to the left. This machine has a 52.4 watt hour battery. To remove it, first, Pull out the connector from the mainboard. Then, you have to unglue the unit starting from the left side. The double-sided tape that is applied on the left and the right is very sticky and you have to pull hard but don't bend the battery too much. The capacity is enough for 5 hours and 31 minutes of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the super battery preset in the MSI Center. The balance mode should be selected in the BIOS in the User Scenario section, and the Best Power Efficiency preset is also activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu. Keep in mind that the touchpad is positioned right below the battery, so if you aren't careful, you can damage it. The two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4, 3,200 megahertz RAM that works in dual-channel mode. This is the maximum official manufacturer's specified limit for an Alder Lake H CPU. For storage, we can see a single M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 NVMe drives and a SATA slot for regular 2.5-inch SSDs or HDDs. We found two thick thermal pads beneath the pre-installed NVMe for lowering the temperatures during heavy loads. The Wi-Fi card is placed on the top left side of the motherboard. The thermal system comprises a single sizable fan and three heat pipes. The lower one is shared between the CPU and the GPU, while the one in the middle is solely dedicated to the graphics card. The top pipe cools the processor and the GPU's VRMs and memory chips. We can also spot a pair of heat sinks and three heat spreaders.